What's going on, everybody? This is another episode of Phantoms Anonymous. It has been a very long work day for me. It is almost over. Oh, long work day. But I have been watching the social media lately. The social media. Sound like an old person. Some old person would say. But I've been watching social media lately. Of course, we know that the rights for Fox are up for for sale. You know, Fox is wanting to sell some of the rights. A lot of studios have been in talk with Fox on, hey, I want to buy, I want to buy, I want to buy, but most notably, Disney has been coming, been in talks with Fox about this deal. Now, you're probably wondering, Disney, hmm, what would Disney want the deals? Because Disney has Marvel Studios. So you know what that means. Disney has Marvel Studios, Fox has X-Men and the Fantastic Four, and a lot of other characters that are missing from the MCU. So that means that those characters would just be brought over here. So, I'm telling you guys right now, if this deal happens, I will lose my stuff. And I'm going to replace that with another word. Replace that with another word. I will lose my mind if this deal happens. This channel will turn to totally being dedicated to a video every day about how this can change the MCU. You, I'm, I'm lying to you not. The, when the Power Rangers movie was coming out, I did a video every single day until the Power Rangers movie hit theaters. This is very important. Phantoms Anonymous is going to be watching this very closely to see what happens. There's even a post that came out. Check this out. Post right here. It says Disney is in the top in all the talks to acquire the rights from Fox. That's who Fox is looking at to say basically, hey, this is who we want to have it. And a, a, some type of official announcement could be coming soon. I'm telling y'all right now, if this announcement drops Pandemonium is going to spread throughout the entire pop culture community. It's going to be just widespread. It's even going to probably be bigger than when Disney said they were going to start doing Star Wars. Oh my God. Like you guys do not understand how important this could be for the MCU to get the X-Men and Fantastic Four in the MCU. Oh my God. Okay. I'm back. I'm back now. I just want you guys to understand the importance of this. This could be really big for pop culture as a whole. This could be really big for fans like us who have been wanting to see Wolverine next to Iron Man or see the Fantastic Four interacting with the Guardians of the Galaxy and Doctor Strange like they do in the comic books. <sighs> Let me know what you think in the comments below about this, about the possibilities. What theories do you have? How would you put the X-Men and the Fantastic Four into the universe? What type of movies would you want to see? Who would you want to see in those movies? Please, I mean, you could do a Captain Marvel movie that's already set in the 1990s that hadn't started filming yet, and you get the X-Men. The X-Men were in the 90s? Do, do it! Like, like, what's my man? What's his name? Uh, uh, can you think of his name? Transformers. Just do it, okay? So, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You guys have a good one. I'm done.